Hey, Shalom. First of all, let me give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakwadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who are some of this truth. I want to give you peace and blessings to the eye camera cause the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and rest like to do. So it's going to be a quick video. Low when the video is edifying. Low will not. What low will you? I can get something from this video. I was reading through Psalms 34 and, um, you know, I was thinking, you know, the righteous have, they go through many, you know, afflictions in this world because, you know, when you turn, when you, when you become, you know, of the Lord and you, you know, try to do the right things, you become, you become contrary against the world because the earth is, is, it dwells in wickedness because the wicked is ruling over the earth. Okay. So if the wicked is ruling over the earth, the majority of the people are going to be wicked. But you're going to have a remnant of, of men that's not going to be, um, that's going to be different than the world. Okay, I'm not going to say that's going to be good because scriptures say call no man good, you know. But you got these specific men, which are called the righteous, right? Which are called the elect and the one third, that are going to be different than the, what the majority of the world uh, is man okay you know like I said the majority of the world lies in wickedness but evil is getting ready to happen to those that are that that dwells uh, in wickedness and that are uh, wicked okay evil is getting ready to happen and the righteous is getting ready to be delivered from the evil deeds and the evilness of this world Okay, and all the things that we might have to endure, Lord willing, are part of that righteous, which is the elect and the one third. Okay, you know, so this is uh, Psalms 34, and I'm gonna start at um, I'll start at four. I'm gonna kind of skim through and go through what I got highlighted, and whatever precepts I grab, I grab below. Willing the video is edifying. Okay, so Psalms 34 and four it says, I sought the Lord Yahweh, and, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Okay, now. This is David speaking. He said, I sought the Lord, uh, Lord Yahweh, and he heard me and delivered uh, from me all my fears. And <clears throat> the Most High is a shield and buckler to the upright. Okay, so in the day to come, right, if you're upright and you are a man of the Lord, you will be protected in the time to come, which we definitely need protection. You know, and our only protection, our only way of protection is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That's why it says, oh, thou worm Jacob. Okay, a worm doesn't really have a defense mechanism like that, right? But what is our def defense mechanism? Our defense mechanism mechanism is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Okay, it says I sought the Lord Yahweh and heard. I sought the Lord Yahweh and He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto Him and and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord Yahweh heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. So you might have situations where you've been delivered out, you know, in his word, in his truth. And I'm, I'm speaking for myself, but I'm sure brothers had situations and have testimonies uh, of the Lord delivering them out of certain things, man. And I, how I look at it is a test because, you know, the small things that it, it, it's not just a test, but it's also a reminder for us. That, you know, when you start to approach these things and when these things are start beginning to approach the troubles and things of that nature. Right. Remember all the mercy that the Lord had on you, man. Remember all it. Remember all the times, even before you even came in this truth, because. The Lord knew you before you came to the truth, everything you've been through has led you up to the truth. Right. That's why the scriptures say that uh, he had, he knew us, you know, in the belly, man, you know. You know, it's in the belly, but, you know, with with all the things that you go through and all the things that you've been delivered, delivered out of during this time. Right. Always remember that in the time to come. Always remember that in the time to come. OK, we must remember in the time to come, because those would be the certain things that might get us through. Lord willing. OK, it says uh, seven. It says the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, campeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. So it says, blessed is the man that trusts in Yahweh. Okay? Blessed is the man that trusts in him. And 
to have trust and have confidence in something, you got to have faith. And without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible to please the, the Most High. Okay? This is 9. It says, Oh, fear the Lord, Yahweh, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. So, and to fear uh, the Lord, right, is, is to abide by what he told us to abide by. Okay? Is to seeking him, uh, uh, following the law, such as command, commandments to the best of our abilities, teaching and preaching his word, if you understand his word, being brotherly, giving alms, you know, checking up on brothers, right? You know, serving, you know, treating, you know, tr treating your neighbor right. Okay? It says, uh, it says, um, it's like it. It says, uh, right, this is eight. It says, oh, taste and see that the Lord Yahweh is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Right, so it says, blessed is the man that trusted in him, man. Okay, not, you know, because if you don't trust, when you go in Sirach, the second chapter, it tells you that uh, if you have a faint heart, you will not be protected because you have no faith. Okay? So in the times to come, always remember the testimony. Always remember your testimonies and the things that you've been delivered out of. Okay? Like me, I have a couple. Right? Still up until this day, I have a couple. You know what I mean? That I could think of that, oh, wow, I got delivered out of the situation. I have big and I got, I got small and I got big. You know? But it was all through the Lord because scriptures say a man's goings is of the Lord. How can a, how can a man you know, do anything his own way. He can't. Everything is, is through the Lord. The Lord controls it. He directed man's steps, man. Okay, it says, this is 10. It says, uh, the young uh, lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord, Yahweh, should not want any good thing. So they that seek the Lord should not want any good thing, right? You know, we're we not going to want. That's why in the scriptures it tells you, seek not tomorrow. Don't worry about what tomorrow going to bring. You know, if, if birds don't, um, you know, store up things or whatever, you know, but they still eat every day. How much more is the man of the Lord? Okay. This is 13. It says, keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile, right? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile, right? Keep your tongue from evil things, you know? You know, uh, keep your tongue, you know, from blackmailing or doing all this, you know, all these, all manner of, you know, speaking, you know, sp using, because words have, the tongue has, has power, man. Okay, words have power. The things that you speak have power. So, the you know, keep from speaking evilness. Keep from speaking bad. Keep from, you know, because what happens is, right, you'll speak something and then you end up doing the shit, you know? Or it'll end up just happening around you. You know, you'll end up doing it, you know, and, you know, it, it becomes a thought first. Then, you know, you speak it, you think upon it, then you act upon it. Okay? This is 14. It says, depart from evil and do good. See peace and pursue it. Right? Now it says, depart from evil. Depart from, you know, you have to get rid of that old man daily. You know, the old man comes back every now and again. And you got to learn how to fight him off and get him off. You know what I mean? It says, depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Depart from evil. Depart from evilness. Depart from, you know, the madness, man. Okay? You know, depart from the old man that you, you know, that, that we fought to get off. Okay, this is 15. It says, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the righteous and, and his ears are open unto their cry. The eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the righteous and his ears open to their cry, man. Okay, and to prove that when you go into um, when you go into uh, Ezra, it tells you that um, the right the complaint. Let me see if I can find it. Right here, Second Ezra fifteen eight it says, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them." And those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. So the souls of the just and the innocent and the righteous are crying unto the Lord. And why are they crying? Well, they're crying because the 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 way the world is. You know, once you understand righteousness and you understand what you live in, then you start putting two and two together and you like, well shit. 
you know, I don't, you know, this is not how everything's supposed to be, man. Okay? This is not how everything's supposed to be. This is not how shit's supposed to be at all. You know, but it's like this, you know, and sometimes you can be grieved or sometimes you can be, you know, you can be like overwhelmed with this, but, you know, you always got to refer back to your how are you, how are shy. Okay? It says, um, this is 16, it says, the face of the Lord Yahweh was against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth, right? We just read in the scriptures, you know? We just read in 2 Edges 15 and 8. Okay, he says, the face of the Lord Yahweh was against them that, that do evil, and the things are, are that are to come, the wickedness and the evil and all the bullshit that's, that's, that Esau finna come down on, which he is not really in control of, the Lord is, all, all that, that, that's finna come down. All these things are for the evil, man. You know, in that that end game, which is the nuclear missiles, right? That's for that's for the that's the end all be all, but that's really the reward for the for the for the wicked, man. Okay, for the wicked of our people, Israelites, and the wicked heathen, man. Okay. It says, um, it says, um, because that's how you going. That's what he's going to use to cut off. You know, it says the face of the Lord Yahweh was against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. You know, and and you know our people are going to be destroyed in this in this first go round, and the elect and the one third are going to be established in the kingdom, or I'm sorry, are going to be uh you know going to be able to go into the kingdom. You know, because it says some men shouldn't, some men are not going to taste death. You know. But the the heathen and you know the top heathen, which is Esau, is going to be wiped out completely. Okay, it's, he's going to be wiped out completely. As a matter of fact, let me uh, go to that really quick. I think it's in Job five. Let me see really quick. I gotta be in Job right here. Oh, Job eighteen. Yeah, I could read. It says, uh, I'll just get into it. Forget it. It says, uh, Job 18 and I'll start at 5. It says, Yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out, and the spark of his fire shall not shine. The light shall, shall be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle shall be put out with him. The steps of his strength shall be straightened. And his own counsel shall cast him down. Yeah. <laughs> you know, as a matter of fact. Yeah. His own counsel should, uh, should cast him down. And, you know, a lot of shit that's coming out, you know, are coming out from... A lot of shit about the heathen are coming out from the heathen. You know what I mean? A lot of things... You know, that's why it says, uh, you know, if, uh, if Satan be against Satan, he, you know, you can't stand, man. He can't stand... Uh, uh, to to um you know to if you know if you're not on one accord right it'll never it what you have going on will never stand you know and and these heathen are not on one accord that's why it says the beast shall hate the whore that's why the rest of these heathen are going to use military uh, uh use the missiles nuclear missiles to destroy this place man and to destroy the rulership of this Edomite that 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 rules the world and rules America, but this place right where they get rich off of, um, you know where they where everybody you know does commerce with and you know and everybody you know adopts the ways right. This place this place is gonna be destroyed, man, by other nations, okay, and by other Edomites, okay. It says let me go down. It says um. I'm going to go to 17. It says, His remembrance shall perish from the earth, and he shall have no name in the street. He shall be driven from the light into darkness and chased out of the world. He shall neither have son nor nephew among his people, nor any remaining in his dwellings. <laughs> uh, they that come after him shall be a stone at his day, and they that went before were affrighted. It says, uh, no, I don't need to get that. The point was made in uh, 18. It says, he shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out uh, of the world. So, 
this uh the wicked light is getting ready to be put out, man. You know, Esau Edom light is getting ready to be put out. He should no more come into uh remembrance, man. You know, as a matter of fact, to back that up, I'll go to Wisdom Solomon really fast. Second chapter. Where is it at? It is uh right here. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 4 says, in our name, and now this is the wicked, right? You can read the whole chapter, but for, you know, I don't want to keep the video too long, right? I'm going to read this. It says, uh, and our name shall, because it says the wicked, well, I'll just read number one. It's, this was with Solomon 2 and 1. It says, for the ungodly said reasoning with themselves, but not right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of men, there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Now, in the first part, it says the ungodly said reasoning with themselves. Okay, so this is what this is the ungodly conversation. This is what they have. This is what they. This is what the this is what they said. Okay, it says, and our name shall be forgotten in time, and no man shall have our works in remembrance. Right. So guess what? They understand the higher up elites understand that. You know the name of 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 Esau, the name of their, the name of the wicked one shall no more be in in remembrance. It says, and our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud, and shall be dispersed as mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun, and overcome with the heat thereof. Okay, it says our name shall be forgotten in time. So yeah, they understand that. You know they finna be forgotten, man. You know. They understand that. Okay, I'm gonna grab this really quick. Let me go back to where I was in Psalms 34. And, um, what was that? 18, it says, The Lord Yahweh was nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Right? So, you know, the Lord Yahweh is, is nigh unto them of a broken heart. You know, the ones who, who feel guilty about you know what they're doing and try to make try to make a change within themselves for righteous purposes okay that's the best way i could i could explain it you know uh you know the ones who who truly want to get right because you're gonna feel bad for the shit that you do man and the shit that you've done you're gonna feel down you know but it says the lord how was not to them that are of a broken heart and as save it such as to be of a contrite spirit it's better to be that than to be proud because when you're prideful, that's, you know, you you have great pr pride before you have a downfall. You know, this is 19. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord Yahweh delivereth them, delivereth him out of them all. Now, look, I'll mention that in the beginning, right? You're going to have afflictions, right? Well, remember your testimonies. Remember the deliverance that the Lord uh, has showed you, man. Okay. I'm going to go down to 21. It says, evil shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. So yeah, evil's definitely gonna slay the wicked, man. These times that's coming on is gonna it's gonna sl uh slay the wicked. And all the devices that the Lord Yahweh was gonna use is gonna slay the wicked. It says, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. So you could do, you know, what it is that you want to do, right? But it says you to the righteous, but it says, you know, you only can do what the Lord allow you gonna allow you is you only can do what the Lord is gonna allow you to do, right? But at the end of the day, you're gonna be desolate because scriptures tell you that. Uh, he that offended to one of these little ones that believeth on me, it is better that a millstone was hanging about his neck and he was cast into the sea, man. Okay? So you will definitely be desolate. This is 22. It says, The Lord Yahweh redeem the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. So none of you, none of us, Lord willing, that trust in Yahweh will be desolate, man. You know, thus saith the scriptures. Okay? So these are, you know, things that we have to remember in the times to come. Okay, so with that, man, Lord Woman video was edifying. Lord Woman, I came got something from, from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Makal Kadash. Lord Woman, it was edifying. On to the next. Shalom.